what we're looking at here is they already had a type of bronze guide in there. I hadn't seen this in many years. It's uh, called a bronze spiral guide. Let me see if I can let you see it before it gets too blurred, okay? And you can tell these because in the guide hole, if you take, see, look, one, two, like screw threads. Listen. All right, it's like that all the way down the guide. Now, I know a lot of people that's used them and they swear by them, say they've never had a problem. The problem I have with them is straightness. Getting the hole perfectly straight. That's why they went to the new bronze guides that are one piece, a slide liner. And uh, some of these were hanging out of the top, hanging out on the bottom. It was really a shitty job. You can tell it was done in a hurry. So the trick now is to go in there because it's going to have a different ID than what the bronze liners are, and thank God huh, for Mr. Imhoff's sake and mine that it's smaller and material has to be removed because if it would have been bigger, these would have had to have been core drilled, iron guides put in, then bronze. That would have been another $100 operation. So I think, though, I'm going to be able to make it work and get by with it like that. So, but before we do that, there's a couple of things I want you to understand. We're going to go to the blackboard here for just a minute. Okay, first, there's something I want you to understand. Let's pretend, okay, here's the roof of the port, there's the bowl. Here's the entrance to ski jump matters there. Now, let's take a look at our guide. My drawings ain't the best. I'm almost out of chalk. Bear with me. Let's say that this is the 23 degree small block Chevrolet head, 23, okay? That means that the valve, this little turkey right here, is inclined at 23 degrees parallel to the surface of the head. Now, when you go in there and you try to put new guides in a head, like most machines has a fixture and a cord drill bit runs through there, uh, this was the old days. They, they had a problem and that when it tries to drill that core hole, if it ain't centered exactly, then what it'll do is when it's drilling is it will drill this off center. So that once the guide is honed in size, <laughs> I'm telling you the truth here because I've measured it. I've seen it make a 23 degree head, a 22 degree head. It can move it as much as a degree. In some cases, the worst I've ever seen is I've seen a 23 degree Chevrolet head come in at 21. Wow. Problem is, when you do that, it moves this valve, it cancels it, so that when you try to do the valve job, it's going to take all the material off one side and hardly even touch the other. So then, as far as the valve C is concerned, look here. This is what you get. Let's say it started out even here. That's what you get. So it'll be contacting, say, 50 thousandths here and maybe 10 here. And that's bullshit. You are going to leak after a while. It's going to blow carbon. You're going to have problems. So... Most people say, well, oh, that's what a three-angle valve job for. They're exactly right. A three-angle valve job ain't a performance trick. You hear all these shops, you go in there and you tell them, I want a three-angle valve job. They're going to take that ink pen out and wear you out because you said the magic word, three-angle. If the valve job is done correctly, it has to be three angles because you have to go in there. What's happened is through years of wear, the guides have loosened, the seats have worn, and you got to go in there and take a 60, a 30, and position that where the two meet and tap it with a 45 and it should pull in. You cannot believe the battle you will have going from that to that right there if somebody's done the guides wrong. So would it be safe to say that for sure, anytime that you put a valve guide in a head, it has to have a three angle? Absolutely. There is no way that I would put guides in a head and not do a three angle valve job. 
Perhaps some of the terms that they try to do when they hear three angle, they know you're in there looking for a performance, so it's time to break out that jar of Vaseline. But that being said, there is a three angle valve job and then there is a racing three angle and here's the difference in it. It's all about this right here. Where on this seat right here do you want that width positioned? Personally, I run mine on the intake at about 40 and about 50 on the exhaust. That's seat width. That's this area right here. Now, I also, on my performance valve jobs, I will move that 40,000 seat width as far to the edge as I can get it. Just barely enough to see some shiny on the face of the valve, maybe 10 thousandths. And I try to put every one of them seats in the same position, which is also going to make your stem heights equal in the bowls somewhat. You, you will have some cases where when you equalize them you'll have some awkward stem heights because of the pads on the head where the spring sits but this is what it's all about now it took it takes time and finesse the way I do it which I'm fixing to show you is with a hand drill because you know what it's uh, affordable for me I can put the bronze liners in there and I, I have learned my finesse enough that I can stab that and I not get the worst I've ever got is a 22 and a half degree from a 23. But the only reason that I did that is because the valve guys were wore in the head so bad that my pilot tool could barely go in there and cut it. So if I have any kind of remotely close clearance to 1130 seconds, which is uh, what, 0.342, 5, I'm going to nail it, get it right on the money, and when I do my valve job, you ain't going to believe how precise it's going to be, but even as good as I can get it, and as good as I put that guide in, it's still not going to be perfect because you have altered the factory straightness of the guide. And anytime you do that, the three angle cut has to be done. All right, that's all I wanted to show. Now I'm going to pull this over here, and I'm going to run through a couple of guides and show you how I'm going to take and turn that spiral hole into a flat and get it where I can put the liners in. Okay.